Sziasztok! Ákos vagyok, és ma a Tengyenszi Csáron Vigyeteset folytatjuk. Ugye azt mondjuk... I found Lord Bolingar's sword. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Here, as promised, your reward. Do you have any relics to sell? I found Merrick's staff. Astounding! To think of the power that once coursed through this. Here is your reward. Do you have any relics to sell? I don't have any relics. Happy. Mm. Ezeket meg is egyéb is adtuk. Sebes karvédő. Mindenkez. Ja. Akkor X és úton. De tetszik, hogy miután legyőzzük a fő-fő boszt. Utána eltűnik. The bridge is looking better, but it still leads into a swamp. Yeah, Mister. No. There you are. This may sound strange, but I was told to wait for you here. Told? By whom? A child, a boy with golden hair and piercing eyes, who spoke like no child I have ever met. Did you follow us into the Mornwald? No. He came to me in a waking dream. I know better than to doubt the vision, especially one so clear. No, of course, I can't see Charles here. No, of course. Grand Master of the Legion, a proud man, I'm told, but not immune to my mother's seduction. Hang on, what? Are you telling me that you're my sister, my sister and a witch? Ah, you are the Mont Baron boy, yes? Of course. You have the same lustrous hair, and even prettier than mine. Pretty hair? You think so? Wait, sorry, I'm still back on the sister part. I do not know why this golden child chose me, but I believe I can be of help to the Legion, if you let me. Does your sister know that you're planning to leave? Leona's word does not bind me. I decide whose company I keep. And she knows better than to forbid me what I want. If only the rest of the world knew the same, life would be much simpler. In other words, you haven't told me. No. See, little brother, you know me better than you think. <laughs> Your mother seduced Mont Baron? So the stories about the Scanzi witches are true? What stories are those? The ones told to jealous wives by poxy-faced men? Of black-hearted witches who ravished them in the dark of night? Those stories are fancies, but they hide a deeper truth. Lescanzi witches have discerning taste. We will seduce a foreign man, but only if he is strong, clever, handsome. Lescanzi women are entirely practical? Love never plays a role? Sometimes. We are flesh and blood, after all. And even our hearts are not entirely immune to the mad distemper of love. But how many men would abandon their homes to wander with an outcast race? Passion fades, beauty withers, and all that is left is the endless road. If you're a Mont Baron, then you're part of the Legion. We could use your help. We journey south, no? To Stonebridge? I know the roads. And charming company makes long miles less dreary. 
No, c'è per chi che va stranamente se serve. Szerintem jó nekünk ő. Lukasz. Mert... Csapattás, választás. Tegy. Itt nem írja, hogy hát 11-esek vagyunk. Na, az jó. A 10 részből 11. Az jó. Jó, persze, hogy meg van. Nem bírtak az öt ember, jó, hogy van. Na, itt egy így. Van személyes vonatkozásokat küldetéshez. Any opinion on the church soldiers? You seem to have run into them before. The church army is the right hand of Jane Cassinda, but these men seemed more mercenary than proper soldiers. They may call her a living saint, but any woman who hires Lascanzi thugs must be a little crooked. That's just what I think. Have you dealt with the royalists before? They don't harass me on the road, so that makes them at least a touch better than Jane's soldiers. I think they're an honorable lot, but I don't see them winning this war. They'll die for a queen who's the last of her line, and barely more than a girl. Fighting in the swamp? Doesn't seem like the best place for a battle. The Royalists are holed up in the Glitterdelve mine to the northwest, and Jane's army marches from the Azunite coast southeast of here. This swamp has the misfortune of being right between the two. This certainly isn't the first time we've had trouble here. Why I still take these routes, I don't know. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I'll stay up here for a while. See if things calm down. Doesn't look like this avalanche was natural. Probably caused by cannons. Black powder charges. Practice as well. By order of Jane Cassander, none shall pass this. Yeah, 
Egyébként egy csajt felső szerintem. Nem szóval szerintem fel. Jó kösz. Őt hagyom valószínűleg ki. Most már tudok ilyen mestert. Nem emberi alakot nem kell, videkező nem kell. Ez jó. Ez már mester vagyok, úgyhogy. Melyiket toltam? Anyone that kills Azanites is a friend of ours. General Devonsy is further on ahead. Just follow the path. Anyone that kills Azanites is a friend of ours. No. General Devonsy is further on ahead. Just follow the path. 
with hardly any azimuths at all. No, get out of the Ugh. Got me that close to that. Stand away then. Not so close to the general. Never mind. I can hardly be called a general with a majesty's army lying dead all around us. Sorry, Lord Devonsey. Sir. Forgive the boy. A few months ago he was a royal page. Now he's a soldier. Such are the depths to which we have fallen. I'm surprised to see any travelers on the road with so many of Jane Cassinda's soldiers about. What brings you to this ill-omened place? No, for We were sent by the Legion. We are heading south to reclaim the old chapter house in Stonebridge. Well said. Best to be open with it. Perhaps it'll return the favor. The Legion? So the rumors are true. A gathering in the north. The rebirth of the old Legion. That's beside the point, though. I'm afraid you're stuck here with the rest of us. The western road has collapsed and was surrounded on all sides by impassable swamp. What forces do you have left? Only the baggage train and a few cannons. One of my officers, Roderick, had commanded the baggage train. He managed to keep the wagons out of sight, hid them under those massive roots. Unfortunately, the men who are guarding the wagons are my greenest troops, former servants and the like. The only blades they've ever wielded are kitchen knives. Mm. All the dead soldiers were yours? How did this happen? Jane Cassandra's army was encamped in the swamp. I thought I'd catch her unaware, sent her scrambling back to the spire. So I force marched out of Glitterdale, sighted the troops at the base of the cliffs, and gave chase. In the first charge, we drove half her forces into the bogs. I could see Jane, not fifty feet from my lines. She had nowhere to run. You smell victory, and that's when the battle turned. Jane sent a few of us sappers round back of my lines. They collapsed the roads behind me. A clever move. I'll give her that. Half my army, the young ones mostly, saw their escape route cut off. Didn't matter. But we were winning. They panicked, broke and ran. Some of the veterans held their ground and died where they stood. The rest retreated here. She boxed you in, with her forces on one side and the bogs on the other. Killed half my people with the cannons. The rest tried to flee into the bogs and drowned. And here I am, trapped in this swamp. Cut off from the Queen. She has only her maids to protect her now. What about those massive roots? We can walk across them like a road. Indeed, they'd support her weight, and my cannons and wagons too. But the roots are separated by stretches of water. In order to create a path, we'd have to raise the land between them. Impossible, you might say. But I have a man in my army with power over earth and stone. A scholar called Phineas. If only he were here. This Phineas can raise a land bridge between the roots? How is that possible? He's made a study of earth magic. Geomancy. The old the magic of the dwarves. Day. It's all very incomplete, but a movement of earth by simple brute force. Yes, I think he could manage that much. You've actually seen Phineas use earth magic? When Jane's cannons had us surrounded, somehow he drew the earth up over our heads, protected us both from the enemy's fire, and yes. saved my life. That's proof enough for me. We need to find this scholar, Phineas. Where has he gone? He was among the first to be taken by the damned savages. They fell upon us not long after the battle, and they've been mounting raids and abducting our wounded ever since. First people, that's what the scholars called them. Only as and I know as they call themselves. I thought of mounting an attack on their village to rescue Phineas and the others, but my surviving soldiers are too few and too young. If I had your help, though... 
Mm, nem kell vére végzőni, szerintem. Let's try talking to the first people before we do anything rash. Maybe they mistook you for a threat. Now there's a little sense. Makes me happy I'm on our side. A reasonable theory, but I've met their kind before. Scavengers preying upon the weak and the wounded. They won't negotiate unless you hold a sword to their throats. I'll gather whatever men I can, the ones who can still fight. And we'll meet you there. Captain, when you come in, as I'm saying, I'm going to be. Go ahead, John. Go ahead, John. I saw you speaking with the general. You must be in dire straits to rely on passers-by. But Lord Devon's here seems fit to trust you. You already know of the savages in the bomb. Beastly lot they are. Some of our best soldiers were captured in their raids. Others have gone missing. We sent scouting parties into the bog. I armed them as best I could, but baggage train attendants are hardly soldiers. They haven't returned for hours. A swamp is hardly a place for heavy wagons. Was your cargo worth the trouble? Basic supplies needed for the troops, but also cannons, powder kegs, and the like. Perhaps we could find a way out of this muck-ridden cesspool on foot, but... Those cannons are needed in Glitterdale. This was a massacre. How did you survive the battle? We panicked. Well, the young soldiers did anyway. After Jane collapsed the road behind us. We're so close to victory. I kept the baggage train here instead of risking an escape. The enclosure gave us just enough cover to survive the assault. If your people are raw recruits, they won't survive long in the swamp. Let me look for your missing soldiers. You surprise me. I can offer you little more than some extra supplies. Yeah, okay, so that point. Look for them to the east, out in the bog. We sent out two scouting parties. Hopefully the swamp hasn't claimed them. Devonsy won't permit any more of us to leave camp. So you're the only chance they'll get. Yo, we sent any at Onomara. Because I'm a figure.